Charlemagne, we live? <laughs> Charlemagne, we live? <laughs> What's good, folks? Welcome to another week of Don't Cancel the Culture Podcast. And we're going to let you know who are here today. We're going to get to the show as quick as possible. Yo, this is your boy TK Money checking in on Don't Cancel the Culture Podcast. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at TK underscore money. Make sure you check out the Federalist Media where the baddest promotion team in Miami. Boom. It's your boy Controversial Mike. You can follow me on Instagram at M-I-C underscore L-Y-F-E. Make sure you follow the business page at Michael Seymour Design. Slide it down for only for business. And hey y'all, it's me, Lisa Lee. Don't forget to follow me at attractive underscore smiley and also my business page at C underscore more underscore creations. And I'm Stacy. Um yeah, I'm Stacy. But um yeah, <laughs> this is Don't Cancel the Culture Podcast. We got a lot of crazy topics to talk about tonight. But to get into things, first of all, how you guys doing? Great. For you guys early in the chat, how you guys doing? Great. Everybody good, great. Yes. Yeah. How was your weekend, y'all? You were throwing ass, Lisa? Lisa? All the way back. To throwing the, ass. To the ground. It was great. Man. Um, I had, uh, it was Carnival Week in Miami. Yeah. If you guys don't know, it is Caribbean Carnival, and um, that's my culture. And Our culture. Our, sorry. Yeah, our you culture. Stay the culture for yourself. <laughs> and um, I definitely participated in a lot of different parties. Some of them I couldn't make it to because I was a little too lit. Oh. But yeah. what about you? What you did, Mike? We know I'm Orlando for a week. Okay. I went to Orlando. Yeah, I took my girl and my niece. Okay. Nice. okay. Went to Horror Nights. You took who? My niece. Your niece? Oh, okay. okay. Nice. That was nice. nice. That was nice. How about you, bro? You was, you was, you was in work mode. Work mode, carnival work too? Mode. Yeah, Getting that bread? Mode, yeah. How was y'all weekend in the chat, man? What y'all was up to? What y'all was up to in the chat? I wasn't doing shit, but just, just here. Here you for didn't y'all do niggas. Anything? I was just here. I ain't really? do nothing. Yeah, I ain't do nothing. I should have came over. I just gave you a shot too. Um, I probably had a shot on my own. But um, listen, we finna get into everything. But the main topic of the night, we're gonna talk a little bit about a little about Jay Chappelle situation, and um, also pretty girl, pretty girlfriend does not equal good girlfriend. All right, and um, Justin Scott just broke up with Giveon. We can talk about it a little bit later. But right now, let's get straight into what we, what we got going on. Um, so let me make sure I share this on the screen. But we all know Kodak Black, you know. We Kodak. Know Kodak. <laughs> we some Zoes over there. We know Kodak. But Tutmul. now we Kone Kodak. Yeah, so like <laughs> I don't know how, how y'all feel about this though. Hold on, let me I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Don't y'all get no headaches and shit. I don't know. This is not That's some shit. We ain't grow up like this. We did not grow up like this. So Kodak Black is going viral. Right now, I'm gonna show y'all what's going on. Oh, such process. Kodak is going viral for this right here. Okay. So he is dancing with his mama and he's gripping on her cheeks. No. He's gripping on her booty cheeks. <laughs> what y'all think about this? Is this, is this okay to y'all? Stop being. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not to be gripping on your old lady booty. <laughs> he's gripping on the cheeks. And playing with her, like, you know, just, like, playing, like, kissing and stuff. Like, so y'all ain't fucking with it? No. So, at any point in time, is that okay for you guys? No. 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 That's totally... Carlos, what's good, homie? That's... So, if your mama bend it over and start shaking her ass... I'll be like, what the fuck you doing? You ain't gonna yeah. clap her ass like, hey. No. No, no. That's disrespectful. <laughs> he kissed his mom in her mouth. He must have been high or drunk or something. Man, you know he's struggling with drug abuse, you know, so yeah. I don't know, but I don't I don't wanna do that much drugs to make me wanna do some shit like okay. that. Yeah. That's when I, maybe, you know, this is some shit that's like make you want to check into rehab or something like that. That's a little bit too far. I feel bad for her. You feel bad for her? Because I know in the Haitian culture, we know this. Yeah. This is not acceptable. No. So of course on the mainstream, she's trying to keep it all together. <laughs> yeah. Because she knows all these cameras and all these all this stuff, these people are looking at her. So the chance was hey, good. Did, hey, hey. Carlos was good. He gripped but, on her ass and he tried to kiss her in the mouth. Yeah. That, huh? like he just his hand. No. No, he, he was did. gripping. He was like, he was like ah. and he kissed her in the mouth too. Yeah, man, that's too too uncomfortable. I can't. See, look, I, look, grab. And, and, and like just put her in. Mike, you trying to justify this? No. You better not do this, to my damn grandma boy. No, that's on period. You can't jump. You already know that. You know we don't have to say. Oh, tag team. 
be gripping my grandma ass, nigga. He <laughs> <laughs> be gripping my grandma ass, nigga. We tag team. Me, 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 me. Man, listen. I don't know that that he tripping. All right, so um, so we got a couple of topics. As y'all join the chat, appreciate it. Zay, what's good, homie? As y'all join the chat, go ahead and um let us know that you hear you never all that good stuff. So, all right, so Kyrie Irving, Kyrie Irving, this man right here, homie said, "Mama a freak." Yeah, she, she, mama on some other shit. So Kyrie Irving right now is um he he's first he's not taking the, the jab for for um we can't say the v word so we, now he's so not taking the jab. The thing. Yeah. So. The Brooklyn Nets is saying we're not gonna need your services if you're not gonna be a, a full time participant because Damn. if he doesn't take the jab, he cannot play on home games and he cannot practice in New York due to state um state laws, I believe. You know, mm-hmm. so he can't do that. Wow. So with that being said, he has to either take the job or Brooklyn said, No, you can't you can't hang out. Now, since he's causing so much ruckus, they've officially said they will not offer him a contract extension moving forward. So, it's time is basically up. They they're basically saying, yeah, bro, you causing us too much issues. You had he had a situation. He had a sabbatical, I believe, um, a year a year or two yeah, ago. He took, some time off. he took some time off from the team, and he was just totally dismissed. So Brooklyn, Brooklyn, like, listen, you causing us more heart headache than anything, and we just can't rely on you. So either retire or let us trade you. Get get that salary cap up off our hands. Whatever we gotta do, because you are holding us holding us up. He's he's all 33, 33 million this year, thirty three million dollars. So so what you guys think about this whole situation? So Carly? I was watching Sports Center and basically they were saying that they feel like Kyrie should just retire this year and then just come back. I mean he can, but I don't think he, I, it's crazy. To me, I, to me, I just think Kyrie Irving has got a lot of. He got a big ego problem, and he got a lot of self issues that he got to deal with for himself. Yeah. Because he, to me, he's a selfish individual. Very selfish. He only think about him. He got to be about him. He don't think about the team. It's it's, it's all about him. So he got to really reevaluate his mind. Okay, for this gets... situation, is he only thinking about himself? Yes. Why is that a problem? If you want to play, you if you want to play in the National Basketball Association, the people have rules and regulations and policies for you to abide by. If you want to touch the court and you want to be a full participant, you must be veed. If you're not veed, you can't play. That's just straight up. I think that he should have his own decision on what he wants to do. Okay. And that's gonna affect him playing. Yeah, and I mean he right. can. He's out of his but, but but you but, can't, you can't. But that's messed up. But no, it's not messed up. He's Why hold, not? Because he because everybody else is doing it. So you holding them hostage. There. We have seen the controversy okay. that has been said that everybody has been talking about. Where I can't remember the lady, um, her name right now, but she said that Magic Johnson played. One second, go ahead. Magic Johnson played with the whole a word. Yeah. And nobody said anything. That's not the same damn thing. Why isn't it? Because you can't unless you unless you're gonna go in the court and bend that ass over, <laughs> let a nigga dig in your shit. It's not the same thing. <laughs> but you could be on the court and um just all like like just to, you could get somebody. <laughs> nah, but you can let you can let people could COVID is much more easily yeah, to contract. It's more, it's more it's much more contagious than HIV. Yeah. I'm sure. Oh, this is the thing where I I kind of I'm like no. Because you can still catch it with the V word. Yeah, you can, but still. It's still What's the difference? It lowers the chances. It's, it just the lowers the chances. It does not lower the, the chances of right, you so, catching it. Is, it catches if it. If I it, catch it, it I'm going to survive. You didn't get the V word, you're going to die. Well, you can't That's say that. But but the, 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 this, the, the, this, this, this the difference is the rules. Now you can choose to do what you want to do with that. Yeah. But you can't. But the thing about it is he's holding the team up hostage. Mm-hmm. Let us know what you want to do so we can decide we're gonna move on or not. Because because at I the think end, it's, it's, I, this is how I truly feel about this situation. What's up? If this was LeBron, this would not be taking place. Let, let me stop. Yes, let me stop. Think so? The NBA, the NBA don't care about LeBron. Yes, in this situation, do. no, they don't, because yes, they do. he was trying to do the same thing yes, that what Kyrie was doing, and he ended up sitting right in that chair mm-hmm. and getting that V and getting V because he knew straight up that if he don't get it, he's not going to play. 
And that's just the rules. You got to follow the rules. This is about your health, though. Yeah. This isn't about rules. This isn't about You're me not, not smoking but, weed. But, but you, but or this is this is about but, if I decide to take this, these are things that can possibly happen to me and things that I don't even know that could happen okay, to me. Okay, all right. I understand what you're saying, but in this context... It's like this. Either you're going to take it or not and just deal deal with it, you know? Mm-hmm. Deal with your consequences. But but at a point in time... Deal that, with it! Yeah, you got to deal with the consequences. How is that? Th- listen, because you're forcing me in the sense to say for my livelihood... We ain't forcing you to do you shit. Babe, do the thing that I love to do, my livelihood, my career is on the line because I said this listen. is something... That's just like if you decide to say I don't want to take a flu shot. It's not the same thing. It's the same because thing. Because you got you got you got to take the fact that the person Kyrie Irving already is walking on thin ice because he has his privilege because I'm me. He took a fucking sabbatical in the middle of the season for no fucking reason to tell nobody what the fuck was going on. So y'all they already like damn bro, there is no COVID in sight. You was already disrespecting us. Mm-hmm. Now this this opportunity you got to not play basketball, you talk you taking that shit. You just the type of, type of person. You're holding our team hostage. If you want to do things individually for yourself, go ahead and do it. We don't care. But now now it's not it's not just an individual decision if you affect the other people. These players, James this Harden, this is an individual no, it's, decision. It's, it's, it's not it only it's only it's not only affecting him. It's affecting the team as well. James Harden came over there to win a championship. Okay, and what and did James Harden? Did you see what he said today? He has not spoken to Kyrie since he made this um, this decision, right? So, so what's the point of saying that? I'm trying to say that they don't have a a, a, a communication. Uh, they aren't as close as we think they are. Uh, of course, is, and who fault of is course. That? Who, I who, agree. Who, who fault is that? I'm trying to say it's not anybody's fault. Look, look, let me tell you straight up. This dude right to here. To win a championship, you have to have that kind of communication. This, you have to have that kind of relationship. This dude right here. Every team he has been on has been a cancer on every organization he has been on. From Cleveland to Boston. Who else he played with? He, Duke. The nigga Betty played that Duke. Yeah, at Duke. <laughs> now he at New York. Kevin Durant. Him and Kevin Durant not even talking. Because Kevin Durant, I heard on first take, said, I'm just through. Either he do it. And get his shit together or buy, get him off my But squad. this should not be the deciding factor on why we can't put his character with him making a health decision. Yes, you can. Is what I'm saying. Yes, because it's like. Why this. are we doing if we, it? If this was tennis. If it was tennis. Golf. Golf. All those shit is cool. But this is not that. This is a team sport. It's okay if you want to make an individual decision, but when your individual decision affects the team, the team got to figure out, all right, all right you're going to still rock with us or not. It's okay. He could do whatever you want to do. If he want to be a conspiracy theorist, whatever type of um, martyr he want to be, he can do that. That's perfectly fine. But you holding the team hostage. They got to move on. $33 million is being allocated to this one player that's not even going to play for you and this year. holding it up. In his pocket, cause he on in, in, some, in the man pocket, cause he he don't want to play, he don't want to get, he don't want to follow rules and bylaws, cause he want to be stubborn. And it's selfish. not, but that's that's what I'm talking about. I don't feel like when it comes to your health that you are being stubborn, okay, because we don't know what the V word is gonna do to us. Okay, so that's fine. Look, look, that's fine. is nobody forcing him to, 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 to do the? V? Yes, in a look, sense. No, no, it's not. In a sense, look, yes. Look, look, look. If he don't want to do it, say, come, coach. I don't feel comfortable doing this at this moment. I don't. I just sit me out for the rest of the season and don't pay me. So you don't hold the team accountable like Stacy is trying to say. You go ahead, cut me off the roster, get somebody else to fill my spot, coach, and I'm so I won't be selfish to hold my team and my homeboys accountable from winning the championship because that's what we came here to collectively to do. But now he got his mouth like this, and he I'm not doing nothing because. Yeah, I'm Kyrie Irving. I'm the, I'm, I'm the big boss. <laughs> Rickety Ross. He said that? <laughs> That's how he acting. Did he say that? That's how he acting. How is he acting? He, he going to be acting in a few days. He's not him. acting any kind of way and he's not saying any not kind get, of thing. Y'all making it not, because of prior. No, because of prior things and his characteristics from prior offenses of whatever that have taken place prior to. Y'all saying to yourself, hey, Kyrie is not being a team player. He needs to just say, hey, this is um, either I'm going to take it or not. He should have that decision if he doesn't want to take it. What protocols? It should be. What, all I'm trying to say is he should have 
the option if he does want to take it. Mm -hmm. And if he says, no, I don't want to take it, fine. If you don't take it, this is the steps that you are going to have to take every single game, every single night in order for you to play. But, it's, but that it's, is not what's it's taking a, it's place. It's state law. It's play or it's either take it or do don't take it. They, 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 do they, they, that's out of their hands. Mm -hmm. That's out of that's even out of the team's hands. They, they gave him the ultimatum. Mm -hmm. You take it or you don't play. Yeah, straight up. They don't have to sit there and baby him. That's not about being baby. So what yes, that is. I'm trying to figure basically out. Basically, you want them to bend to him, bend to everybody who don't take it to say, okay, we're going to do that. That's what it they, should they, be. They, 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 no, hell no. Hell they, no. That's they, they, what they it should be. I, that's another option. I don't have an option. My option is take it and that's it. That's all I'm trying it's, to say. Be, oh, be, being in that option. position is a privilege, take man. Take it or you don't. <laughs> like, it you is, have it the is. freedom of going up to take it. The freedom to of not taking it as and well. you shall receive the repercussion of not taking it. Mm -hmm. and that is that's not, not receiving it. a repercussion of not taking it. That's yeah. not That's not what it is. That's what it is. What it is is you're forcing someone to basically say, no. "Fuck what I feel." No. In order for me to play, this is what I have no. to do, America, and that's all I'm America's saying. He ain't got to do shit. He ain't America, got to play nothing. America, America's 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 he ain't got to play to play the sport that I love. That's what I have. He to loves do. himself way more than that sport, what is and that's okay. That's, that's fine, and that's fine. He can do that as yeah. he should. He should. You should love yourself more than the sport. You should. Because at any day in time, you could get injured and anything could happen. Yes. So you should love yourself more than that sport. But at the end of the day, he still loves that sport as much as he loves himself. So, so, so repercussion. What? The repercussion not planned. They set the rules. That's fucked up. Yeah, it's fucked up, but that's how it is. It is you what set, it is. You set, you set the rules. You can say what the people I'm saying in the chat? At the end of the day, they sat down the paper and said, either you go do it or you don't. How much do you love this sport? Okay. So <laughs> it said Magic had HIV, not AIDS. Cannon was good huh, here. Um, Kyrie, Kyrie just weird. He signed a contract with a stipulated in that contract. It's what he has to abide by. Appreciate it, Gabriel. Do you prefer HIV or COVID? COVID. COVID. I definitely prefer COVID over oh, HIV. Yeah. <laughs> COVID, <laughs> HIV is, that shit is permanent. <laughs> not really. The so only not reason, according to magic. The only yeah, reason the, the, um, the only reason the jab is used it to not spread it to others is still to get it with the vax. Yeah. Okay. Also, oh, most companies are now deducting fees from paychecks for not being vaxxed. Wow. Um, there are That's rules crazy. for every contract every player signed. If you think you don't want the vaccine, I respect you. But if it kills you, I don't care. That's Dang. fine. All right. You have a choice. But at the same time, it's my way or to the highway when it comes to business. Straight up. Especially uh, if you can make $33 million in a year. Nigga, that's a privilege. Yes. Like, come on now. I, I, COVID is more contagious than HIV. That is true. And people are dying at a more faster rate than HIV. Mm -hmm. I mean... It's 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 a, it's really tough. It's like a it's like a craft road to be honest. You don't know. All right, when it comes to your health, you have a choice. It, and that's true. What's good, Smash? Um, it's it's his individual choice, and I think you should be selfish with any health decision that you make. On the basketball, it's fine. They trade him though; he can't play due to the law. Yeah, it's just the law. It's not even the basketball. It's the law, and then they just trying to do what they can. But you, they but, aren't doing what they can. They aren't doing anything. They're saying they take it or not. That's, that's it. That. That's not doing anything. Because that's one player. Versus fourteen others that you got to buy in. This one you can't do everything, bend for everything for this one player. We have fourteen other veterans that that bought into the thing. That's that's unfair. their business. No, well, that's yeah. Kyrie's business. You know that's Kyrie's happen? business. No fourteen players gonna say fuck this thing. I see how y'all yeah. and they're gonna bounce. That's then, their business. Then you gonna sit there with a player you can't even play. That's their business. But that's not even the, the NBA can't even control that. That's the law that the state have in place. Don't they have to go to other states to play too? Next topic. I'm through with this shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna move on to the next topic. Oh, we got some spicy shit today. We got some spicy shit today. All right, so um all right, so Lizzo. <laughs> oh, we back with Lizzo. We back. Y'all know we never get off Lizzo. So they said what's the difference? You need a shot? Hold on. <laughs> what's the difference? We got Rihanna right like, here, yeah, you know. Rihanna. Hey girl. Okay. All right, what's the difference? Here go Lizzo. Boom! Boom, what? baby. Big body, big Benz. Big body, big Benz, Mike. You going to draw that Benz, Mike? You going to park at that shirt, huh? Puffy, Pull up in that. Puffy, puffy. So, so, Lisa, why you looking like that? What's up? She going to a dance hall party? <laughs> 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 Talk. 
Toe. You know, Brick, certain. Sticky. Brick, sticky. Brick, sticky. <laughs> I just think it's certain things when you are a certain size, you should be able to wear. Mm. Okay, okay. Okay. We get we getting we get in there. So certain things, certain size, you should not be able to wear. So this right here ain't unacceptable. Really unacceptable. Yeah, Mike, what you think? Is this unacceptable? She can wear it right here if she want to wear but but you better make sure people going to look at you. Like, you got to understand? Yeah, you better uh, When she wear this, what you say to yourself? Um... I, 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 look at them titties. <laughs> <laughs> look at them titties. <laughs> Man, them titties. I don't know. Them titties look sad as hell. Them titties like some runny eggs or some shit. I don't fucking know. Them, them titties like eye, eyeballs hanging out the socket. Um, what you think, bro? What you think, Tico? Man, it's just certain things you just not supposed to wear. <sighs> I, I, I get it. What she trying to do is like, okay, love the skin that you're in. If you this shit, it's a lot of skin. Yeah, <laughs> it's a whole lot of skin. <laughs> but that's just unacceptable. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa, are, you, skin, are you looking at me like that's a lot of skin, man? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's that. That's that. Um, y'all know y'all go to Popeyes, order that chicken, <laughs> and they got an extra skin on that bit. That skin be fire. I bet you fry lizard. That shit be fire as hell. That's that breast. I don't know. The breast be kind of dry though. <laughs> <laughs> the breast be kind of dry. <laughs> but that extra skin, that shit be crispy and right. Can you in the, in the right way. zoom in and the girl behind her with the leopard? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> this is how you. This how you live in the night. Oh man. <laughs> Let me see. You got that leopard skin on your. Y'all ever seen Austin Power Gold? Remember? <laughs> <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> I love gold. <laughs> but even her, she looks she better than Lizzo right now. She I love, love gold. <laughs> what she was, where was this at? Um, this they was heading to um Cardi B's. Birthday party. Birthday party. Birthday party. 29th yeah, birthday party. <laughs> that was really nice. Did y'all see it? My dog's <laughs> there from Jamaica DJ Chromatic. Okay. Chromatic <laughs> DJ. Big up Chromatic. Creep. No, 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 no. That's not. That's not. Uh, yeah, no, that's, you got the wrong fat, person. That's the wrong character. I'm yeah. tripping. I'm tripping. I'm going to say y'all who chicken in the back look like. I didn't uh, know that Chromatic DJ that they oh, party. Man. That was a nice thing. Wow. Man, man, come on, dog. You can't do that. You can't do this, Mike. Man. I can't put this on the screen. <laughs> I can't put this on the screen. Why not? This not who she look like. I'll be controversial. Put that bitch on there, bro. This not, this not who she look like, bro. <laughs> dog, she don't look like this, bro. Come on now, man. Oh, nah. my God. All right. All right. I'm sweating. She does, now. though. That's how chicken the bat look. But yeah, I don't know, man. That's how Lizzo look, too. Shit. The depressed. Oh, man. Oh, um, listen. That's, what do you feel about this? You know how I feel about this. Okay, let's uh, move on. <laughs> <laughs> you know how I feel about okay, this. I'm, listen, let's not cancel you too soon. They said y'all wrong cooking chicken right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say he cooking chicken right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that skin be here. <laughs> Look, fried nice, Jamal. Fried, fried nice. Fried nice, you feel me? But she probably has more sex than most people. The irony. Oh, man. Damn. Hey, man, I talked about that earlier, you know, the one. Them, them big chicks, they'll, they'll do whatever. Yeah. They'll yeah, do whatever. All right. So the difference is one look fine as hell and the other looks like a tub of lard. She's trying to get looks of men while forgetting that men are visual. Whatever heat she gets, she got to eat it, pun <laughs> Damn, gay. <laughs> but um, listen. Listen. Um, um it's... Look, you, look, I'm you trying just, not to... You, look, you just can't to say, say right too way. much. <laughs> It's tough not to fat shame, mm -hmm. but I sometimes think I, I don't care if I get crap. People, some, somebody told me that I need a push up bra one day on in the comment section. I laughed. I said, "Shit, it is what it is." You know, it is what it is, bro. Hey, what size you think I need? Yeah, I said they said I need to save money to buy, get, get a push up bra. I said, "Bro, I could save money just use my girls. I'm straight." But it is what it is. I don't give a fuck about that shit. Yeah, so, I think I think you need. I think we need shaming. We we need to bring yeah, shaming yeah, back. Bring this shaming. This is unhealthy, though. It's unhealthy. At the end of the day. End of the day, this is unhealthy. 
We're not rocking because like at the end of the day, we all like to say, "Oh, love the skin that you're in, this and this," but this is unhealthy, and it should never yeah, be. Okay. I <laughs> Tim, man, I'm sorry, dog. We having a, <laughs> we each having a conversation. Make sure you, <laughs> make so, sure you watch back. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. <laughs> it's <something. laughs> <laughs> Shame and never left. Um, yeah, you, uh, hey man. Shame and never left. It, they just frowned upon. Shout out Deja Pell though. But um, in the next story, so all right, so I'm reading for, reading for the first time. This person says, um, I'm sorry, but two to three months is a long enough. It's long enough to fill a vibe or somewhere and figure out what you want. That time is even too generous. Self, what self? If if you have to do talking stage for centuries, <laughs> do you need to work on your spirit of discernment and lead people's picking alone respectfully so y'all think two two to three loans of the talking two to three months of the talking stage is like too short let's ask let, let's ask this re uh range this question how long is the should you be talking to somebody before you know that this is somebody that you want to actually continue to date? <clears throat> it's like six months damn you're hitting right around my six months I don't know. Shit. I don't know. Don't you think? I said six months, but, yeah, it, six months, but yeah. it's, it depends on the person. Yeah. Something. Because this person is saying two to three months is a long enough time for you to realize that. Who said it? This is what this guy is saying. Mike said, who said that? You want to yeah. fight? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, who said that shit, man? He's saying that it is a long enough time for you to realize this, if this is somebody. Because if you really think about it, two months, two to three months. That's a pretty long time. You know, I'm fucking tired. That shit so, go by fast. No, it fine. go by fast as shit. I'm yeah, go by fast. You're telling me how I'm supposed to deal with your. Okay, yeah. Michael, tell us how you feel. Tell us That's how you him. feel. You say two to three months. I say six months. Fuck what he say. I'm tired of y'all fucking always bring up. Oh, well, social media said this is how this go. So I gotta do it like that. No, fuck that. I'm going to fuck that shit. coming in. Yeah, Mike, yeah. Ty, Mike getting drunk. Uh-oh. This is going to be an epic stream tonight. <laughs> epic stream. <laughs> Mike <laughs> faded. <laughs> I get what you're saying. I feel like you said, though. Like, I'm people saying, get man. so caught up in what somebody else... Like, people get caught up in what other what other people go through in their own relationship. And they try to, like, tell you, oh, bro, you should do it like this. You know what I'm mean? saying? Right. You don't got but to. is it... I wonder if he's, when he's saying two to three months, is it consistent talking? Because you know how you can talk to somebody for two to three months, but it's like an on again, off again, and you check up on them every now and again, mm-hmm. whatever. But mm-hmm. is it consistent? I would know if it's consistent. Yeah. Like two, I would know by then. Mm-hmm. If I could wife her, I would if know. If it was consistent. Yeah, because you probably had enough conversations. She probably told you little stories and shit like that. So you can get a good idea of like, alright, were well, you sucking a lot of dick back in the days? Mm. And she ain't <laughs> gotta tell you that shit, but you can just tell. You just can from tell like, from stories About two to three months she, and stuff. Yeah, yeah you can, you can get vibing. it. Yeah, so I, I think, I could, I could definitely tell in that amount of time if I'm just focused on that one girl. Mm. If I got a team, it's gonna be a while. Yeah, it's, it's so yeah. if you have a team of girls, about six months should be the cap. Yeah, because by that time, I'm like weeding them out. It's like a damn whole whole off season. We gotta go through cuts. We gotta try different lineups and shit. Yeah, so you gotta weed them out, and by the time it's all done, yeah, you gotta <laughs> different rotations. <laughs> well, you, heard you gotta see, all right. <laughs> You know, you gotta see who who, who could um who could be the date chick, who the who who you gotta just gonna bring around your family, um, people who got the guac can... guac, you know. I think for females, um, we need about three months of consistent dating. Yeah, that's why that shit we talking you know. Three months specifically, because within that first month, we really don't know y'all, honestly. Okay. Because honestly, we probably still talking to somebody who we were previously dating. This is true. So yeah, that's, where um, the, that's where the problems go in. So in the second month, it's probably when we start trying to say there. Because what females do is we try to weigh out our odds. Mm-hmm. We say, hmm, we we do it, but we don't realize we're doing it. Like we say to ourselves, like, damn. Let's see if this one does this and this one doesn't do that. Oh, she telling y'all the truth. Y'all better listen. So, a lot of women, we kind of, we weigh out our options and say, let's see who is the better guy. And that's how a lot of guys get, cho- or they get chosen, or chosen, I should say, because we see something that this guy does better, or this guy does more of, mainly consistency. That's the key to winning a female. But, but the crazy thing is, is, like... Is, is that how y'all wind up in shitty ass relationships? Yeah, yeah, but... but um, not always. But this what could happen. If a consistent guy 
is doing everything that he should be doing, uh-huh. that's how we end up in a fucked up relationship. But listen, listen. What could happen is you could end up choosing a certain guy, but that guy is not well, he doesn't want you. He doesn't he doesn't know to ah. be he doesn't want you for that shit. Yes. And plus y'all been rocking for a certain time. Yes. He probably like that like that vibe. And now and now you probably start dealing with the other dude because that guy don't want you. Mm-hmm. So you start dealing with the other dude. But you already in your mind chose. Yeah. So when that other dude finally be like, um, you know, I wanna fuck with you. I, I wanna fuck with you now, cause I'm I, I make a sense when other niggas around it. Yeah. So now you wanna fuck with you now, you going Too back late. and forth between both dudes and shit like that. And uh, one dude clearly likes you more, but yeah. she's trying to you still right. keeping the options open for the one that you really like. So it can get crazy. It can get you, real sticky. Well, a lot of females, what happens in in the in the dating pool, especially if you have options, um, we get messed up when it comes down to us having to choose the guy who we feel is the better option. Okay. So we will have other options, but that like I said, that consistent person is always gonna win. I, I can see that. I can see that. No matter what happens, the consistent one. Because you can have a guy who you do like more than the consistent one, right? Uh-huh. But you you hear from the consistent one more. So so guess what? You think about him more often than you would the one who you really truly like. Mm. So when you go on dates or whatever the factor is, blah, 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 whatever, you think about all the time you spent with the consistent one and all the conversation, the text messages, the phone calls, whatever... You don't have that that same type of communication with the one who you you know you really like it, but it's like you start liking this other one because he's more consistent. Wait, what? What? You throwing sweet cap on that cat, ma'am? What? (laughs) The whole time. I'm a female. What are you talking about? Yeah, and niggas know how y'all run shit. Oh, you saying that? Oh, you gonna think? This nigga be consistent all he want. You still gonna be on the other nigga dick? That's especially not true. if especially if he cracked that true. especially if he cracked that true. back. I don't know. Yeah, if he cracked that true. back before so you probably gonna give him one look. Cat. That's probably, not true. That's y'all not might true. give him before y'all commit to the new nigga, y'all might wanna give him a one look. If look. it's somebody who you like if you are dating people who you actually like mm-hmm. and the one that is more consistent. You what, can't be, you should not be dating somebody who you just is in the, the they just whatever. Oh, they and that's that what though. happens. They do that though. That's what I'm saying. Okay. That's what happens. So if you are date, if you are dating a guy who you truly shouldn't be, have even given a chance to, of course you're not looking at him like that because he is the one on the back burner and you're like, hmm, nah, no well, thank well, you. The whole time you said was, I'm with the person I like and I'm thinking about the one who's over here who's been consistent. Does she like the other person too? Yeah, she likes me. No, I said like me and consistent at the same time. You were saying they can't, you can't, well, if you like somebody, you give them 100%. Once you give That's them not 50, true. If you get 50 50, shit gonna be all rocky. And that is fucking true. Even if you, you like have somebody it, at Let me ask y'all a question. What's up? Have you ever, no, let me ask you a question. Have you ever been with somebody and you've been thinking about somebody else? Yeah. 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 That's normal though. That's different. Especially when you... Am I in love with the other person? No. If you are in the dating stage, you are with somebody else and you're thinking about somebody else, what is that telling you? You just spit down the middle. You don't like it. You... That is basically telling you that you are thinking about somebody else because what? You like them a no. little more. Nah. No. No. no, no, no. no. I don't mean that. No. I don't mean that. No. 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 Captain. Then what does that tell you? <laughs> no. Tell me what does that say? What does that mean? It just means I just thought about them. That's it. Yeah. It's just that simple. Like, so people, got so different, people got different levels of dating too. Okay. Because you see some people be like, oh, we just dating, casual dating. Yeah. What what kind of, what that mean? You just, y'all fucking or, or y'all going out on dates? Like, are y'all trying to get to, so you have different levels to this shit now. When you're saying dating, what you mean? Is y'all for real, for real? So it's different levels to it. Now, I get what you're saying where you could say, oh, we dating, and then you might be like, oh, damn, like, say you're strolling on your timeline, right? and you see this little, the little, the little thought you used to talk to, and you be like, oh, fuck that one, whatever, whatever, and you like, oh, damn, oh, yeah, she cool, whatever, you might just gravely think about it, but that don't mean you in dreaming about the bitch or dreaming about the nigga or whatever the case might be. You know what I'm saying? So, it's different levels to it. What would you consider dating? Me dating? 
I consider dating is I'm talking to somebody, I'm getting to know that person. And there's nobody else. Once you're dating, you're exclusive. Yes, no, it, that's not dating to me. It's, 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 I'm well. Gonna, we get to wait, 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 wait. We're going to get to you. Hold on. <laughs> no, go ahead, Cleve. No, 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 no. I'm done. Cleve turn. What is dating to you? You dating? Uh-huh. Because you got a uh, talking shape. Once you get out of talking shape, you say, uh, we're taking this seriously. That's when you're going to date me. It's exclusive. Boom. So you talking, well, y'all two talking. Well, yeah. well, okay. It's a difference. If you are, it, it depends that if you are dating or you're dating someone. It's, it's, so I, he's right. If you are dating, that means you're just probably just dating around. But if you're dating someone, I, I take that as you are exclusive with that person. Mm-hmm. Huh. I take that as you're that exclusive that, with that person. When you consider dating with that person. What do you think? To me, I feel like if we, me and you are dating, I have other options. Okay. Because when you're dating, meaning you have a pool, I can date other people as well. Now, when you tell me, hey, me and you are exclusively dating, meaning it's just me and you. Okay. Okay. Now, I have to kind of weed out those other people because now we're taking it serious and it's just me and you, right? That's when a chick asks you, so what are we? I was just about to say <laughs> I was just about to say, so when do you, when do you, do y'all sit down, you see what you just said? Do y'all sit down and say, oh, what are we? Or like, how do y'all know, like, you exclusive with that person? Do guys, do, do, wait, 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 wait. Do guys still ask girls to be their girlfriend? No. No, we no. don't do that no more. Circle you yes or no. Really? Cause, 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 ask, cause no, 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 no. Have you guys, the girl or the guy that you're with now, did they ask you guys to be their girlfriend or boyfriend? Because mine did. He asked me to be my his girlfriend. So all that shit. Let's see. Did you ask your girlfriend to be? Nah. So she just said. Oh, you don't I'm even have. We, we trying to still figure. Y'all out don't have titles. Yeah, but we still trying to figure out our anniversary. We we, we, <laughs> we just we just thugging it. <laughs> what about you? Did you ask your girlfriend to be your girlfriend? No, I just she knew what I said what it is. How did yeah, y'all? I said you're my girl. You never asked me. Oh, he told oh, her. Oh, like, oh yeah, shit! I'm doing her. all this. I'm doing all this bullshit. Shit, I assume I am. Shit, I'm paying for all this money. And like I always say, if I'm opening up my wallet, that means I don't open my wallet for no random woman. No. That's y'all true. niggas ain't shit. No. Y'all we supposed- ain't shit. But you just said that y'all have a whole pool during dating. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't shit. That's right. a good clap back. Right, right? Man. We we <laughs> ain't shit. You know why? Why? Because y'all options shit. are always open. Mm. Even, when you are, even, when, even when you are exclusively dating, guys' options are, are always open. So, guys, guess what? What? Don't, well, sorry, females, guess what? Don't be no fool. Don't, don't be no fool. Stay in school. All right. Yo, your whole shit was open. What? Okay. Yo, hold him, don't know. They a, say you All right, so we're going to move on to the next topic. Um, they said speak up, they can't hear you. Have you guys heard the Meat Mill album? Not yet. No. You have not heard it yet. Have you guys seen the album cover? I, I, I seen heard. the album cover. We, we, well, we, we reacted to the album cover on here. Yes. So now, lately, I guess people are finally seeing the album cover. Or or people, or somebody, somebody probably woke up and said, damn, I need something to be mad at. What I'm be mad at today, and they they like oh meat meal. I don't like meat meal. Nobody likes meat meal. Nobody likes meat meal. So they found this album cover, and everyone is pissed off about this now. Why? What's wrong with it? Okay, so a couple of things that they're saying is that the one, woman. the black woman is being depicted in a horrible way. Um, first, because it's like you know they're strippers, they're naked, um, cheeks in the is, streets. Is it what Lizzo was promoting? Cardi B, mm. um, what's it from Texas? Um, Mega Sound. Michael, the night with, with the hood bro, with the mm. and all of a sudden a band throw them on the CD cover. Oh no, you can't do that. So you gonna cancel <laughs> him for the? But if that was Cardi B cover, y'all be damn sis, that shit lit. Mm. That, what the? Ain't nothing wrong with that. Uh. What's the difference between watching Cardi B twerk all over her video, Mega Sound Cardi B that? Mac truck man, that shit was a damn porno. The- <laughs> Come on now. So Megan, yeah. so the wop was, was the, the porno. Wop. Yeah, and- y'all seen the wop and y'all celebrated that. What's the difference between that and this? Mm. Michael said he's trying to stay in the, stand up for Meek Mills at the end of the day, and that's on period. So with him saying that, Lisa, basically, <laughs> um, with hip hop culture being so 
vulgar, especially ladies themselves being extra vulgar, um, hypersexualized. That's what they're doing, especially these stripper strippers and everything like it's being praised and everything like that. This album, is I don't called, think it's nothing wrong with it. You it's think nothing not, wrong with it? It's nothing. It's this is cartoonish. It's not an actual. This is not. <laughs> This is not an actual um, person or, or women that they are, you know what I mean? Like, it's not an actual picture. Uh -huh. It's not. It's a graphic. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's, a just, it's a graphic designer that her meat mill throwing whatever, and he do, did that together. It's a lady. Okay. Yeah. I don't think there's anything wrong with a it. A woman, a black woman drew this. I'm happy oh, really? that it is a black female. There's nothing wrong with Because how wrong. often do we see other skin complexions? Hmm. You know. Okay. They, they, they thought it was a black man. No. They thought it was a man who made that and they attacked it. She should have came out in front. I created it. Then what are they going to say? So it was a black female that made this? I believe a black, a lesbian black woman. I, I think she looks lesbian. That's even... <laughs> I think so. See more funnier. See more funnier. I, yes, yeah. it was. <laughs> I think so. That's cause they right. That that's that's just, that's another topic we talking about. Dave Chappelle. That's that's just basically them going against their own. Like the guy, you were attacking somebody who's a part of the LGBTQ community. Hey, 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 <laughs> All right. So um, mm. I think it's um, this is very telling. Someone said this right here. Make make it all pale skin. As far as making white women, Ooh. um, they they this they had his album cover on his buses and on Philly and LA. On, they said public buses, oh wow, and it was not censored. So that is kind of wild for this not to be censored on on all on oh, public, so yeah. yeah, because it is it is explicit. But the, that not cutting you off. That his cover is on is on downtown Miami, just like that on a big ass building. So it's not censored either. Okay. I mean, I can understand that for like just for kids and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. if they, I mean, they have an issue with this shit. It is what it is. I mean, you guys can let it slide, slide already. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a deep dive on this soon in the video. But so many things have been like allowed in pop culture when it comes to hypersexual, like hypersexualizing the black woman, and they do it themselves. Mm -hmm. We try to say stop doing it, but are we policing their bodies? So. Fuck it. All right. Yeah, now, when we say this is how we see you guys, or or even a woman, a woman drew this saying this is this is how we see ourselves or whatever. Because the album is called Expensive Pain. This nigga's right here crying. He doesn't have a shirt on as well. He he's not exposed like this, but he has a chain on and all these um the 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 fast life. The fast life was going on, and he's crying. It's called Expensive Pain. So it's all a story. Um, I'll have a deeper dive into this later, but um. So let me see. Let me see what we talking about over here in the chat. So Nash saying national demographics should be on it. Daniel mm -hmm. was good. I stopped listening to rap years ago and have no dog in this fight. I feel you, homie. I feel you, bro. So um, all right. Let's move on to the next topic, though. So just to touch on this real quick. Oh, this is so sad. It's been a lot of stuff going on in regards to women just being. It's not just women, but women being in peculiar situations when it comes to them being in danger. Hitman Holla is a battle rapper, and he said a couple nights ago, four men broke into his house while he was on FaceTime with his woman, mm -hmm. and they were trying to rob her, and he had to try to direct her how to defend herself and shoot, shoot back at the guy. She ended up getting shot, and the bullet went through her cheek and then out the back of her head. Luckily, she survived, but um, it's just a real frightening situation. Mm, so... I, it's just been so many different different things, and man. What do, gonna... Because I I had this conversation, and um, a lot of people were saying like they would not have directed her to shoot back. They would have directed her as a as a guy to say, go hide. Don't you know? Call nine one one. Don't. What have what would you as all males? What have you guys have done in this situation? Unless would you, would you have directed your girl to go and? Unless she, she went to the gun range because she got directed how to shoot, meaning she didn't operate a gun. I'd say hi. What about you? I mean, at that point, it's a life or or it's a life or death situation, so you have to protect yourself at all costs. So I I feel where he coming from where he like okay this is what you need to do. Oh, blah, blah, blah. first he should have said I don't know allegedly if he if he told her to call the police or not, but that should have been the first thing she should, he they should have done. I don't know if he did it. You know what I'm saying, but. There's nothing wrong with he 
telling her what to do, the follow, you know, do this, do that, or whatever the case may be. Um, I don't want to be Monday, Monday morning quarterback, but in the situation, you could say hide and let off a warning shot. Let off a well, warning shot. Just let mm-hmm. motherfuckers know you get your, you got fired. That's gonna probably make them out of shoot or run. Mm-hmm. But um, definitely would not want her to be in harm's harm's way, especially them seeing her mm-hmm. and then sh- shooting them shooting at her because they definitely are going to fire back like they did. Mm-hmm. But it's a crazy situation. Like once again, I hate to be Monday morning quarterback in situations like this because until you in that p- position, exactly, it's tough. It's tough to say what because you because honestly, if you're on Facetime with somebody and this is going on right, th- that's just like right now. God forbid, if something wants to happen right now while we're on live. And we're like, oh my God, y'all are going to be in the comments like, oh my God, what happened? What happened? What happened? It's not going to be a situation that's like, oh, um, go get your guns. Oh, go get, you're going to be like, what happened? What happened? You know what I mean? It's like everything happened so fast. And that's what he's trying to say too. Yeah. Like everything was moving so fast. He just, and he wasn't there. Like, what could you have done um, in this situation when you weren't there? Yeah. So the thing is, we don't know what they wanted. That is true. Mm-hmm. Could be money. Could have been a kidnapping because he does have a lot of beef. He be, he talk a lot of shit. Yeah, he it, it, I know I shit. know him from um, he Cassidy. had uh, he had a, a a beef with Cassidy. Yeah, that he has a lot of any he has beef all around. Yeah, he did talk so, a lot. He talks um, a lot of shit. He, from what that's how I knew who he was. I didn't know him from anything else. I and apparently he was on Wild and Out, but I didn't know him from that. I knew him from um, Cassidy and him. And ba- if you guys want to go look at it, him and Cassidy, uh, the disagreement or argument, mm-hmm. whatever. And, and he was basically trying to say like, oh, uh, him, he make more money than Cassidy. And come on, we don't know your name versus Cassidy. Yeah, you know, <laughs> but, that, but it's true. When you got beef out there, sometimes people not coming to rob; they coming to murder. Like in um in Little Dirt situation, they were not coming to rob him. They were coming to murder him. Mm-hmm. That man got real beef out here. Like real beef out here. And how he talks is, cause, uh, especially because his name is Hit Man. He like, nigga, I'm, I'm on that. Y'all need to see me. Da, 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 da. Yeah. So homie said, Dave said he, he can say hi. But in the moment, no one knows. That, that's true. I taught my girl how to shoot. I would have told her to shoot too. That's why I leave my other gun at home. I feel that, bro. That's a hard decision because calling 911 means you got to hang up and sit there and wonder what, ooh, wonder what happened. Yeah, that's true. That's true. In right this here. situation, what would you guys have done? You said it. it. You just said it. If she oh, yeah. know how to shoot the gun, she know it together. Yeah, big gun. Take cover, shoot, da, da, da. We don't know. Do she know how to operate the gun? Because a lot of guns out here ain't no point in shooting. You got to do this and that to it. I don't know. Say hide, hide with the gun. How would you guys have felt? Them type of things always happen to us, crabs in the barrel. I mean, you you scared yeah. as fuck. You don't know what the hell. You feel helpless. Yeah. It's and a so helpless situation. Been in home yeah. You don't know what's going on. You said ask someone who's been in the home invasion, you don't know what's going on? Yeah, you don't know. You was there it's too, though. You don't I know. wasn't there. Oh, you you, you like, wasn't there. What the fuck's going on? You, one, you don't know how many people in the house. Two, you know what they're there for. You don't know who Three. sent them. And mm-hmm. you don't know who sent them. And all they're doing is yelling commands. and that, you like. So yeah, how scared was you know. when you were in that situation? Uh, I accepted death. Huh? I accepted death, yeah. You, you accepted, accepted death. death? Really? Yeah. Wow. I mean, you don't know what could happen, you shit. You lay down, put your head down, and they're yelling at one person. Uh, they be the shit out of them. Never know what happened. All right, man. So that's a tough situation right there. I pray for a speedy recovery for um this uh, for Hitman Hollis girl. I'm happy she was able to survive. Yeah. Because oof. All right. So moving on, another quick update from um the Dave Chappelle situation. I've been covering this a lot <laughs> on my channel. So transgender employees at Netflix reportedly <laughs> plan to walk out on October 20th Period. in protest of Dave Chappelle stand up. <laughs> You're an ally. So go ahead, <laughs> walk out. Do your thing. So um. <laughs> Thoughts on this situation? Have you guys seen the special? Yes. Mm-hmm. What you guys think? Loved it. Yeah, Loved it. It was good. It was great. It was good. I think Dave Chappelle is a really smart guy after watching he it. He's a mm-hmm. smart comedian. I think that he is able to kind of make it comedic in a way where people, and then he tied everything back in together to make people understand what he was saying. Yeah. A lot of people aren't able to do that. 
um, you know, some people just got it. They just, they just, they just have a agenda, and they know how to push their message through their agenda and make it funny. That's the real, the real genius and everything he does. Mm -hmm. Makes it funny. Um, listen, these people right there. <laughs> somebody say in the comment section, so they hiring. <laughs> 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 Real talk, because because at this point, in my opinion, I think they they just want to be upset. They are ignoring what he's saying purposely. Mm -hmm. But somebody said something very unique. Hmm. Um, I think it was on um, Andrew Schultz po podcast, um, Flavoring Two. But some people, are, it's 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 money in being a victim, especially if you're a group, because it gives you power. Being a victim gives you power. Mm -hmm. So sometimes these groups look for certain situations to victimize themselves because it gives them more power to be able to do X, Y, and Z to get things done. We and just was having a conversation. And them two girls who, them two people went to the show. The two people that went to the show? And they sat in the front row. Mm -hmm. We were just having this conversation the other night because um, I was outside actually watching this and on the loudspeaker or whatever. And one of the neighbors decided to come over and was like, hey, y'all watching David Chappelle, blah, 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 whatever. So we were having this discussion and um, he basically was saying like, there are people who are saying that they don't like the special or they don't like this thing and they have never watched it. Mm, that happens so much. Mm -hmm. So it, they are just going off of headlines, headlines. and what other people are in clips mm -hmm. that are not truly telling you what is really going on mm -hmm. in only bits and pieces. So you are hating something and you don't even know what it's you about. You don't even know the facts. I don't even know the facts. That's the danger with people playing with clips. Like, it was a video where a Lambo got rear ended. Everybody, man, I've that, seen that. I covered that as well. Man, it was that girl for that. Yeah. They showed the whole thing. This Lambo went and cut her off and hit her whole car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I meant to. I've seen I, that. I meant to cover it, come back around, and I never had the time to. But yeah, that, that yeah, is true. I told the whole story. The whole time, everybody, man, that girl. See, that girl hit her. Nope. He was in the wrong. He hit her car. She. She shouldn't have hit his car though. Yeah. No, but I think he but she was mad. Because that's two separate day. accidents now. Yeah. yeah. And now but the whole time he was like, "I ain't do nothing." Yeah, that, that. No, it was just you did it. Nope. <laughs> then they go fucking ran, and cut her off, and all did yeah, all that. And and the, the the funny thing was everybody sided with the guy with the Lambo mm -hmm. because we only see one half you of see, the story. They edited and that's well. and, and they edited he, where he it's, went and he recorded the gas station and he. Da, da, da. And that was it. Up. But when you seen the entire clip and she said, You hit me you hit me first. And everybody thought she was crazy. No, How could she hit you first? And you, we clearly see it at the light. The whole mm -hmm. do but that's tips. what happens it, in this whole situation with Dave Chappelle. They pick certain clips. Boom. You know what I'm saying? They don't explain the whole setup he did, the backstory behind it. Nope. Yeah, they took that one little section, boom, put it on social media. He's yeah. talking bad on this. About about X, Y, and Z. That's what they do. They they pinpoint uh, where they want to attack you on. They don't do no facts. They don't do no research. They don't even watch nothing. They don't they, they look at they listen to what this person say and then they say, Oh, he this person X, Y, and Z, like Dave Chappelle, and they don't have no facts, they don't have nothing. It's always three sides to the story. The truth, I always say, the truth. Your side and the other person's side. So, yeah, man. So, big ups to Dave Chappelle. That was a good yeah. show, though, man. You know, big ups to Dave Chappelle and the co, the co creator on um, Netflix because he stood, stood up for yeah, 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 the show. Take the show down. He said, I am definitely down. proud of one thing about Netflix that I can say. Um, when anytime it is, and that's another conversation that we were having with the neighbor where um, he was saying basically, like, Netflix is like, this is publicity for us. Mm -hmm. People are going to go watch this. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm not taking shit down. Yeah, you ain't taking mm -hmm. shit down. The fuck? Let them come watch. <laughs> That's great. I, I, I renewed Let my Netflix. Come. Once I found out that Netflix backstage pay, I, I got a subscription. You see? Yeah. It's like one of those situations that... If you cannot have a platform where um, you are able to kind of, because it's, it's like in a sense, no freedom of speech anymore, right? Mm -hmm. Especially in the um, when you are a comedian. Especially when you're a black comedian. And mm -hmm. we are known in the black community for a lot of, in a sense, racist jokes. Mm -hmm. 
it's not acceptable anymore. Well, um, Damon Wayans said that Dave Chappelle freed the slaves mm -hmm. from with a special, basically saying, um, now comedians are going to have more courage to speak more candidly. And I'm happy for that's, that. That's yeah, good. it should be like that good. because it, now the the kind of um, comedians that we have now it's like they feel like they're censored. They have to all do now. Yeah, the comedians yeah. that we have now, yeah, they're no the only way to be funny is if they're a uh, female. They dress up to be a female. So wet out. Or like if, yeah. if if they're they're trying to be so it's it's like. What happened to the real comedians? We used to talk shit about people and try to, you know, and try to make it, you know, more than what it is. At the end of the day, I commend Dave, Ch um, Dave Chappelle for coming out and stepping on the edge and say, hey, this is what I'm going to do and I'm going to push myself and this is what it's going to be. Yeah, he don't he care what it. nobody says and, fuck and how nobody feel or, or they're going to counsel me because this and that he did what he did and he said what he said and, that, and that's it. That's that's how you've been since day one. That's mm -hmm. what people don't understand. He clearly tell y'all this man walked away for for over a million money that all of us would sit at the table and say, Yep. He walked <laughs> away for so he get two fuck with y'all got to say now I'm with him. He get two fucks. <laughs> <laughs> so now y'all can sit there and cancel him and you glad to see he gonna do a show, I bet he's give a soul out crowd. Mm -hmm. Of people, course. People tired of me. People we, tired of holding our, holding our tongue. We, we're tired we of being said. We're he, tired of being canceled. We gotta hold our tongue, but these, but they could go ahead and throw punches and all that. But we gotta hold our tongue. Yep. They gonna throw a whole cake in our face, but we gotta hold our tongue. Could have gladly pull out that card. Have we say mm -hmm. he watch that special? He brought us some real, real stuff, and you sit there and you think on it. Because mm -hmm. yeah. they rock, they you they they hold the black people up in front of it. But watch when shit get down and greedy, they pull out that white card. Up, uh, nah, I'm white now, police. But that's always what happens. People are only black when they have to. If you are, if you have the choice to be white or black, people are only black when it's beneficial. It's convenience, it's convenient. Yep. Oh, they would. Have you see? Did you see that girl with um? That that was um, saying the shit about the four C hair. Mm -mm. All right, so um, this is a, this wasn't a topic for tonight, so I'm gonna go through this real quick. So there was a is that on healthy hair? I think it is. No, she she was um she's a she's a biracial girl, mm -hmm. and she basically had a video. It's going viral. Um, all of my home girls that do YouTube, they're covering it's on healthy, shit like that. It's on healthy hair. Um. I don't know if it's on healthy hair, but I still I know it's on real Yanni. I know it's on healthy hair too. But, but um, well, basically, she, she got a texturizer. So she yeah, she's they call it a texturism or whatever like that. So basically, this yeah, girl basically said hair. um, she's biracial, and I can't play the clip, but um, she's basically said she's so glad she doesn't have her mom's African American hair, her mom's black hair and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Cause her mom's so so tough like that. So people are very very upset with her. Cause also while she was doing the video, she was uh, promoting a black hair product. So people are very convenient. They, they find convenient ways to be black when it comes for them. Um, I had also a discussion on my video, a bit a long discussion on my video about the Maya Marsano. Um, as far as her being biracial and people's calling saying she's not black. So yeah, a lot of people be black for the when it's for their benefit. Um, cause mm -hmm. you see this girl promoting a black product, but at the same time, she's saying, um, you know, basically talking about she's blessed, like having black hair is a curse. Wow. So it's a crazy situation. So you're yeah, right about that. That's, that's why it's a, a big controversy because what I've noticed, um, and I actually had a conversation about it, uh, the other day where, um, guys always say that they want a natural girl, right? Mm hmm But there are different types of naturals when i say natural i mean when we're talking about hair wise okay you have some girls that hair are curly right yeah and you have some girls that hair are like afro kinky you know yeah it's more acceptable to have the curly side of the hair versus the afro kinky side of hair because they feel like the curly side of the hair is more acceptable who guys what, guys are telling you this? This is what I see. 
Are, 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 are they telling you this though? Not me because I don't rarely wear my hair. And when I do, I kind of jazz it up. Remember last week we had a conversation about the makeup, the asses, and stuff like this. Mm -hmm. We go to the store and we look in the store, the catalog or whatever, and see what's out there in the market to shop for. Uh -huh. We're going to pick what's best on the market. It's not going to be the girl who has the Afro kinky hair. How you know? I'm asking. If, if she's fine, yeah. It used to be this girl named Lala Love or some shit like that. She used to be, she used to always wear Afro and shit like that. That shit used to look, she used to look good as fuck. Um, Pam Grace with a fucking afro back in the days. Yeah, People, sexy, if you look good, you look good. Shit, yeah. but if that it's what's out there on the market, we're gonna deal with what's out there. But if um if everybody is doing the the weaves and stuff like that and the, and the wigs, we just gonna pick the best what's, of what's available. Like we can't control that. We 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 try to tell y'all what the fuck we want, but no, it's not yeah. being aggressive. You, but we try to tell y'all what what we want, but every time we do that, it's, what we thought think no matter. So we gotta deal with what we can deal with. Body. And then since we stopped saying stuff and we let y'all rock and we just picking from whatever, now it's like it's we are the ones that want that. Like we we just here just we just living, man. We just trying to <laughs> we just that's trying just, to That's just like um we, first of all, we once again we don't wanna have to spend give because you know a lot of girls sometimes they try to like put the 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 responsibility on that man to be able to 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 be able to help them afford this expensive hair and shit like that. We don't want to fucking give you six hundred dollars <laughs> or to a thousand dollars for no fucking hair. No. Yeah. Real fucking natural shit. If it comes down yeah. to that, we gonna figure that shit out. We don't want to do that. That's yeah. some shit that y'all doing. Every man when they hear the prices of a hair hair or from that woman, they be thinking like, okay, why are we doing this shit again? Why is this normal? Why is this true. shit normal to spend? I Thousands of dollars for some white bitch hair. Yeah. Why is this shit fucking normal? No, 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 I don't no, think sure. guys realize how much hair costs until uh, their girl asks them to pay for it. Yeah, but they have long, pretty hair, and they still gonna go get that damn fake Mickey Mouse shit to put it in I head. think guys only like your hair when it's pressed out. No, that's not true. Like my hair. Yeah, my hair is pretty long, right? Like but people hair. never rarely see my hair you because I always hair. have weave in my hair, right? Okay. But my hair is fairly long. I feel like people would prefer for my hair. When I press my hair out, right? Mm -hmm. People think I'm every other ethnicity, right? They they think I'm Indian or I'm um, Ethiopian or I'm... They think I'm everything else besides what I am. Mm -hmm. When I press my hair out. But it, it, it just go back to this. Who are you doing that for? Men or yourself? They go right back because y'all clearly y'all always throw that right in. I'm not doing that for y'all. I'm doing this for myself. Mm -hmm. Who are you doing that for? And just who, the, who cares what are yeah. you doing it for? Just to educate people, just to let you know. The 4C hair is some of the most versatile hair textures because it could do a lot of different things. So, mm -hmm. like she said, when you do different things to so manipulate hair, it in different yeah. ways, um, you can look different. You can look at like you have a different ethnicity, but that's just the 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 range that 4C has. Other people here doesn't have that. A lot other people here can't take as as much um manipulation as well. It'll break this shit the fuck yeah, up. You feel me? Like yeah, this they say this girl got a lot of damaged ends and shit like that. <laughs> Cause she tried to have she tried to do some braids. Oh, she, no, she, you can nah. see it. You can see that little ball Yeah, she tried <laughs> she, she tried to get some braids, but she she got 4C hair, that shit ripped that shit the fuck up. <laughs> So now she's trying to get some. Nah, my, my, nah, the homie Ayim Aloha was cooking her ass. Ayim Aloha was cooking her ass. Nah, that shit was funny as fuck. Some damn biotin on that <laughs> Nah, but but you know, it's, and, and, and um, you know, and it's it's like you, you're trying to make it seem like other people have cursed hair. Yeah. Nah, that's just what you do. That's just how, that's just who you are. God gave you you, you know, and gave everybody else them. And it is what it is. It's pluses and minus. I am grateful that my hair is able to kind of be manipulated in the way that I want it to be. Because if I want to wear a fro today, I can. If I want to press it out, I can. If I want to do braids and make it sleep, whatever I want to do to it, it's able to do whatever I want. So, yeah, I'm yeah, grateful. You know, what girl trying to get black girls out? That's true, too. I've actually just seen a, a video with this guy who wanted to have a hair like what you have. Yeah. And this Asian guy, and he did have to do so much to get it to they, that. Y'all, the whole time, I'm trying to get hair like them. 
Trying to get hair like that. They trying to get braids and shit like that. All the extra shit. That shit crazy, man. They trying to get a lift like that. Even braids. Have you guys ever seen how braids look on the other side versus how it looks on black girls? Oh yeah, we know. I mean, we seen we see we see how it look on with dreads. Oh, that shit look crazy. They can't even do their dreads like ours. No, yeah, they try though. They had to let it sit the same way. They can't get a twist. Their hair can't lock up like this. No, nah, they gotta get that bitch. What they what they call it? Crocheted in uh, and all that, and, and then they let it sit there. That's why they they don't. Oh, piss, y'all gonna look ugly. It don't look. <laughs> it don't. It don't look uniform like a black man dress. What it look like, Mike? Like a fucking dookie braid. <laughs> that's how it look. No offense. That's how it look. Y'all gotta admit it. Hey, anytime a nigga say no offense. <laughs> Anytime a nigga say no offense, it's gonna be some offense after that. <laughs> Anytime. Nigga, that shit is like, hey, right fight on, me if you want to, my nigga. Because I'm trying to learn how to retwist my hair, and you see white people do that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, it look like wrong. Dookie braids. They don't even look like Dookie. They like shits. Like, <laughs> no. They try to do. They, the things y'all running from are the things that they want. And. All right. All right, so that was an interesting topic. That was an impromptu topic for the night. So what else we got on here? What else we got on here? All right, this is the last before the um the main the main topic. So um so right now, if y'all don't know who Jada Wada is, that is a little baby's baby mother. And she has a clothing brand she just released. It went crazy, she did great numbers and stuff like that. Wait but, a damn minute. Yeah, so but um but it, there was a lot of um flaws this girl had. And she addressed it. She put a video out on social media addressing, saying like things going on. And what did Jada have to say? Jada just basically um, had to respond. And in a nutshell, she was like, "Damn, like you know, it's crazy. This is the route that y'all go to tear, tear down a business, but it's cool. And I, I'm gonna take the criticism. Is what it is. A lot of my other um, people are are satisfied, but since you're not, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Now, the girl is going ahead and said um, they updated me and they're going to let me return my my item. And that's, I don't know if you guys don't know, but they're not letting a lot of people do returns because of COVID now. So mm -hmm. she's doing what she can to, to accommodate um, this lady. Mm -hmm. But, you know, a lot of people are having questions or having a little discussion when it comes to how do you go about critiquing black business owners when they are on online? Like, how do you go about that the right way? Because, you know, sometimes... Because you can't. You can't. It's, it's a thing now that we are seeing of... <laughs> more than often where anytime um you try to critique any type of black owned anything they throw their race card out there hmm. oh it's black this and it's black owned this and that. if it's bullshit that's the same thing that we were experiencing with carnival where um they were giving bullshit costumes or they were I'm giving sorry. bullshit experiences at different events and stuff but it's like Oh my God! Why are you guys critiquing our our culture? And why are you guys doing? If you didn't start with bullshit, it should not even be an issue. Hmm. But that's the same thing when it comes back to this. We expect our race card to be thrown out there when it's bullshit in a sense. Mm -hmm. Why not give a, a excellent product and make sure that it's what it's supposed to be? And you won't have to do this. I hear that. Mm -hmm. That's and in in a sense we like to charge more too. Cause they love to say, you know, we're brothers, you know, fellow black skimpers are gonna try to give me a deal. You like, nah. Then that's when the whole problem set up. And then you pay more too. That's yeah. the thing. So, sometimes you pay more. Is the quality good? No. And, sometimes you pay more for the product just because it's a black or whatever. It is still bullshit quality, or it's still bullshit. Oh, it's not, a, not, not to say that every single thing that is black owned or black business or whatever is bullshit or whatever the case is. But sometimes when you experience that, it's like you can't say anything because everybody's gonna be so defensive. Mm -hmm. I understand, but you know, you, it's 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 very you are testy. On the other end too, man. Um, I would say it's very dangerous. You should you should be hell, well, okay when you are a black creator you should do your best to make the best product because you know you don't have as many chances and plus sometimes if you are going out there you know sticking your head out as a black business sometimes those others aren't going to come and shop with you 
Mm-hmm. So, you know, so you, all you may have is your black people mm-hmm. to come and shop with you. So just put out the best product possible because, you know, you want to, um, you know, give the best thing for your, to your people if you are providing services to them. So I would say do your best when it comes to that as well. But um, I don't want to stay on this topic, t- topic too long because I want to move on to this right here. All right. So I don't know if you guys know who Justin Sky is. So Justin Sky was dating Giveon. Giveon is a R&B singer and he has the song Still Your Best Heartbreak mm-hmm. Anniversary y'all know the songs right mm-hmm. yeah so he, he, give me on that nigga you feel me now um she released some messages on or some posts and deletes and stuff basically saying you know things she went through in her relationship just basically alluding to the breakup between them two now mm-hmm. as I do I'm always you know, just scaling the internet and I was watching and looking through the comment section now I seen a lot of people were saying, "How you lose?" Hold on, let me. See. This person says right here. Let's read this. Damn, this whole Justin Sky and Give Me Our Breakup comes to show that you can have the baddest bitch and men will still fuck up. Now that bothers me. That bothers me because so many times I see on the internet when it comes to breakups, people always think. That just because a woman is beautiful, that she's the best girlfriend possible, mm. and that and just because she, and she nobody, you have to stay with her. If the relationship messes up, it's automatically the man's fault. Mm-hmm. You don't know these fucking people, really? so there's no way you could say just for how she looks that it's only on him to make sure the relationship works. It's so many things that happen. I think we still don't know, even though even though things have things that happened in the past we don't know what caused it we I, we still don't really know exactly the details to sierra in the future i mm-hmm. still don't know sierra said some things future said she lied on him because he was moving a totally totally different way and future also said i almost risked my career from changing up to be her boyfriend mm-hmm. and wanted to be married with her but she wanted to be she wanted to do the marriage on TV and all these different type of things. She wanted to be very a broadcast thing. Mm-hmm. He's like, no, I just want to do. If we're gonna be together, let's be together. We gotta to do all this extra stuff mm-hmm. to sell our relationship. And he was, and that he said that led. He was like, let's get married right now. Mm-hmm. And then they broke up. He said that more so led to their breakup than anything. Then, then after a while, rumors came out that he cheated. And he's like, yo, what the fuck? Why are you letting everybody say I cheated on you? You know that's not what, what, why we broke up. Mm-hmm. And she didn't say shit. So Future just like, damn, I thought we was cool. Mm-hmm. That's how it is, and, 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 and then everybody just ran with it. Now they had this tumultuous breakup. And Future liked the chick. He really liked it. Even risked his career, changed everything out. The man was falling off. Future would have fell off if he still was with Sierra. Mm-hmm. But um, he changed his career and everything. But that that molded who he was as far as like that. Then he went on and just like you know dealing with random chicks and stuff like that. He is who he is today. But mm-hmm. that was a big um or or, or heel turn for future when it came to everything like that. But I said that to say it's so many things that happen or we take these these relationships and we always blame the man. You guys know De'Aaron and Kenneth. Mm-hmm. Um, we don't know what's going on in their situations to make them break up. But or what makes because we don't know when they broke up. Every time they break up, or anytime you see him dude, you will see the guy Ken always out with a different chick and shit like that. Yeah. And people will be mad at him automatically. But you don't know exactly going what on. what's going on. What may have led him to to that point. You don't even know if they already fucking broke up. Mm-hmm. But they trying to still collect that bag because they're trying to sell this facade to the people. And now now I, it goes back to show when during their during a well she's been hanging out with these chicks it's a gay chick that she's been hanging out with and um they always be going everywhere with each other and then it's been she's been alluding to possibly they yeah, a woman yeah. they a woman now That's in that scene yeah. yeah so you could go back into vlogs with Dierra and ken and that gay chick is around in, in the these videos? vlogs in these yeah. videos and vlogs so this relationship, she could have been been dealing this with this chick long, yeah, for the longest, and dabbling. but he's out here trying to live his life, and he's automatically being blamed as being a bad one. Yeah, he you don't know. Um, you know, I'm gonna always advocate for men no matter what, cause I'm a fucking man. But I just think it's unfair to people for people to just assume just because a woman is beautiful 
that they are the best partner Perfect possible. Bitch. Or if you lose them, that's your loss and shit like mm-hmm. that. It ain't that simple. It ain't that fucking simple because the, I did a video earlier today stating that the prettiest people do the ugliest things and they also are, get away with a lot of shit because they, they receive reassurance like this bullshit. Oh. They receive reassurance just for fucking existing. Mm-hmm. Just for fucking existing, they are told that they're the best thing ever. Mm-hmm. And everyone should bow at everything that they that they want and need. And that mm-hmm. often leads to a horrible relationship with that person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You shit, you said that shit the best. The best. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I do think that in this situation, um, we don't know what's going on, like what you were saying. But it's like one of those things where the man always does have to get the blame. Always. They, they say I always have to get the blame? You think they have to? Or you think you just That's what happens. That's what happens. That ain't good though. It's not healthy. Because if I am a fine girl, whatever, right? And I am in a relationship with a guy and then comes out that he cheated, right? Mm-hmm. They don't know what I could have done to make him cheat, right? But mm-hmm. it's just the fact that you cheated. Okay. So, of course, you're always going to get that blame. Hmm. Chances are, that's 85% of the time. That's what happens. Okay. Because we feel like, as females, if you don't want to be with me, just leave me. But, you know, men men rarely leave relationships. But mm-hmm. that's, the, that's, that's the catch 42. 22. 22. 22. 22. But that, that makes a lot of sense. But, um, but yeah, men men rarely she leave relationships. <laughs> okay, because I, I caught myself. Yeah. 22. I was trying to do the math in my head. That's, I mean, that that, that sounds like 20 over. But um, but yeah, men men. That's why I think a lot of men sometimes are they be done with done with relationships, mm-hmm. and then they get caught cheating, and they don't even give a fuck. And they're like, all right, you got me. You got me. Are you going to stay? You going to let me cheat on you and stay with you? But right, why that's, that's is a... that the thing? Uh, why do men say to themselves, I'm going to cheat on this girl. And if she decides to, if she catches me or whatever the case is, or she hits the fan, either she going to stay with me or she not. Right? I don't know. Why do y'all take this fact? And if she does stay with you and you continue to do the same bullshit, why not you as a man say, you know what? Fuck that. You caught me, man. Well, I'm good, bro. I'm good. Let's let's just end this thing. Well, as a woman, why you keep on fighting for that? Because women don't know the difference. This is why women fight for relationships. We always typically blame us ourselves, rather you guys know it or not. We feel like it is something that we could have done differently that would have prevented you from doing what you did to us. Always. That's not 100%. But I'm telling you as a female, this is what we do to ourselves. We say to ourselves, he did not psychologically this we not we are we're never gonna tell you that this is what we were thinking. But in the back of our mind we're saying he cheated because I keep arguing with him. Mm-hmm. He cheated because I don't have time for him. Mm-hmm. He cheated because I'm fat. He cheated because, and this is what we, we give you guys the benefit of the doubt or an excuse. How often do you find times where your girlfriend might give you an out, where you guys are having an argument, and she might say some shit, and she'd be like, oh, shit, let me roll with that one. What you mean, like an out for a... She might say some shit that makes you say, oh, yeah, let me use that excuse. That was a good one she said. Oh. You've never had that happen? Nah, not that I could think of. Y'all? If you guys are having an argument, right? Mm-hmm. And she say, why why you did this to me? Is it because I'm always late? And you say, yes. Shit, yes, you're always late. You never want to do this. You never want to do that. You never, and you run with what she said. Like, you use what she said against... No? No, I don't know. I think women do that shit more than anything. I don't know. You give them, you give them an excuse. They gonna like, oh, okay. I'm gonna yeah. tip that in my back pocket, pocket yeah, like a man. damn extra Y'all clip. Whole, Use that bitch to get you. Y'all love to take what we say and aim Twist right it. to our face and blast us with it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I, I, I can't say that. I, I, sometimes when it's <laughs> arguments, girl, they don't admit to any damn guilt. Yeah. Because <laughs> she gonna have a. 
she got a definitely got a defense card straight to you. Said, "Yep." Well, da da da. Now you see that like shit. I should never say yeah to that. <laughs> you always got a you always got a backup to that. Mm-hmm. Is it because of this reason? Yeah. It's like, well, this was the reason why I did that. Yeah. That, you were like, it, that's true. That's when true. you when you argue with whoever, especially your significant other, it's kind of tough because you know that what their triggers are. So you kind of know what can piss them off or you know what to say and what, what you shouldn't say. But mm-hmm. a lot of the times we still say what we want to say. Yeah, y'all. Y'all do that. Mm-hmm. Men just be like, oh, whatever, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Y'all do that. Cause it, I mean, yeah. Y'all do what y'all can and bring men down to y'all level because mm-hmm. y'all can't affect them physically. So y'all try to cut them mentally. Well, but when the that's man big, gets y'all level, state. y'all go that's true. Y'all pull out that victim card so quick. Because when we get to our level, we're going to get to our level. Mentally? When we get to our level, we will get to our level. And y'all go straight to, oh, what the fuck? What the, uh, 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 uh. Uh, y'all uh, hands up. <laughs> like, what the hell? And we said there like, you took it to this, you took it this route. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. That's why sometimes I try my best. To avoid, cool. yeah, avoid. Um, I try hard to argue. avoid. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you're gonna call the tone. Keep, no, keep a cool head during the argument. Keep a cool head because um, you don't try to try not to get out of character. First, you gotta keep your mask on the frame and just say mm-hmm. chill and stoic because you know you should just you should just know better. You should know that women are gonna do whatever they can to punch up and and, and bring it down to level. So you gotta just just vibe out because mm-hmm. you know things are gonna hurt them way more than it hurts you. So you gotta just take take it with a grain of salt. Mm-hmm. Also, you know, people that want to just get wild, I would say, just just being metaphorical, metaphorically, never, never f- get in the mud with a pig because they like being dirty. They they gonna never get in a mud fight with a pig because mm-hmm. they like the dirt. They like mm-hmm. being dirty. So everything is gonna be on their playing fields, and you're not gonna enjoy that shit as much as they will. So mm-hmm. they do what they do. Let them go off. And to be what it be. That's all you can do. But no, I take the high road, you know. Yeah. Take the low road. So, um, that that's the last thing I wanted to touch on today. Any you guys want to talk about a little bit more? Y'all good? Anything else y'all got in your mind, your heart? Sure. Uh-huh. Hey man, so we're gonna wrap it up for the night. Appreciate y'all for hanging up with us. We almost did an hour and a half. Right. It's a late night. Big you people hanging. Um, let's go ahead and give y'all socials before we go ahead and sign out. Yo, this your boy TK Money checking in. Make sure you follow us. Everybody on this wonderful podcast, make sure you follow Don't Cancel the Culture Podcast. Subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, which is TK underscore money, and follow the Veterans Media on Instagram. My, it's your boy Controversial Mike. You follow me on Instagram at M-I- M-I-C underscore L-Y-F-E. Make sure you, make sure you follow the business page at Michael Summer Design. Follow them. Um, you know, you know the rest. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta read it in the comments. Hey y'all, it's oh, me, God. Lisa Lee. Don't forget to follow me at attractive underscore smiley and also my business page at C underscore more underscore creations. And please don't forget to follow us at Don't Cancel the Culture on all major platforms. And it's your boy Stacy. Yeah, I'm Stacy. You already where you need to be in the first place. Make sure y'all like the video. Make sure y'all subscribe and um, enjoy all the content that's coming in the future. We almost at twenty thousand subscribers. Um, I, I'm thinking um I may just do a live stream with y'all and, and talk to y'all and thank y'all and we just gonna get drunk and shit. I think I think maybe this weekend we may hit twenty thousand subscribers. Ah, so probably Sunday it. we do a live let's stream party. Yeah, yeah. So I do a live stream party. Um, anybody could call in for whatever you would. I'll have the link so y'all could call in and talk shit, Ooh. and we'll be vibing and talking about different topics and stuff. Make sure if you get if you like to drink, you have your little drink. You Let's got, you do like, it. If you like the blaze, have your little your little smoke smoke. But we're gonna talk about stuff. We're gonna just be hanging out and chilling. I'm gonna you know give you all my time and and talk to the people that's helping me out and changing my life. You feel me? So we're gonna keep growing together. But I appreciate y'all. This has been another edition of Don't Cancel the Culture <laughs> Podcast, and we're gonna get up out of here, man. Yo, Charlemagne, we live.